Police are looking for the driver and passenger of an SUV that plowed into several people on a Bronx sidewalk today. It happened right after a 17 year old inside that vehicle was stabbed and the chaotic scene then led to nearby schools going into lockdown. CBS 2's Corey James live now outside Harry Truman High School in Co-op City. Corey, what's the latest? And Christina Maurice, it's unclear if those teens who were hit outside of this high school attended this school, but what we do know is that they were standing near the campus when it all happened. And it's a campus that has multiple schools on it, some with young age children. One of those kids describing to us the scary scene that happened right in front of him. They said it was a lockdown. Seven-year-old Mason Michelle did not fully understand that announcement made inside his school building, but the third grader knew it was serious after seeing what was outside of his classroom. I went to the door and peeked, and then I saw a guy with a knife, and I went back to my table under my table. And when you saw him, how did you feel? Scared. A terrifying experience that police say first started in front of Harry S. Truman High. Authorities tell us it was around 2.30 when an argument broke out there between three people in an SUV and a group of people on the street. According to officials, someone from that group went to the vehicle and stabbed a 17-year-old in the torso. We are told that victim jumped out before the driver hit the gas, slamming into several teens standing on the sidewalk. Police say both the driver and a third passenger in the SUV took off running after crashing into the car on Baychester Avenue, both of them leaving behind a crime scene and parents anxiously waiting. We was freaking out. New York City's Department of Education said in a statement both NYPD and school safety immediately responded to an external incident, taking additional safety measures at the school, which entered a lockdown and working closely with NYPD. A frightening situation for so many, especially the kids. But this young student says he was prepared to step in if things got worse. I would tell everyone to get out and run as fast as they can. <laughs> Unfortunately, seven year old Mason, he did not have to step in and protect those in his classroom because everyone in the building remained safe. Now, the 17 year old who was stabbed once in the torso, we're told he did not attend school here and he was taken to the hospital and is expected to recover. Meantime, the seven other individuals involved, including the driver who was in the car that was hit, they all had minor injuries and are expected to be okay. We're live in Co op City in the Bronx. Corey James, CBS 2 News.